Hey, it's a title card for the show, and I don't have a proper intro yet. Yay. Welcome back to another episode of the Super Show. We are going to Haiti. To that doesn't sound as good. <laughs> I'm sure that'll be more fun than oh, it looks sounds. Oh, like a face. Yeah, I know, right? The third member of the Fiendish Five was the infamous Ooh, voodoo priestess. Here we go. Ms. Ms. Ruby. I love her. That doesn't look like Haiti. Born into a family of mystics, other children uh, found her scary. It's kind of the swamp level. <laughs> undead, provided what few friends she had. A career in crime allowed an adult Ms. Ruby to punish the world Ooh. for fearing her as a I child. I feel for her. She her was, eyeliner is perfect. I know. Her powers Vaguely feel for her because she was like, you know, an outcast kid time. and now she's doing Yet things because she didn't know any better. She managed to slip into obscurity. Last known sightings claim she headed out of civilization and deep into the Haitian jungle. Haitian jungle. There we go. Okay. So it's like, it it's the voodoo it's swamp. Tropical, so. It's the okay. I will say this: all of the levels, all the levels in Sly are based on you know actual places, and they all are very much stereotypy. Never to the point that it's offensive too much, but they're all stereotypy. Well, the intention isn't to offend. It's a obviously. kids, you know. It's a kids game. You know, they it do was made bit. in a time where I think like it was, it, you know, the early two thousands. We were still kind of okay with this. Um, oh, it was, I think it was. It's never done with malice, no. which I'm always like. That's so much of it is like ninety percent intention. Granted, if we get into Sly Three, we will get to go to the uh, Australian level. Yeah. Talk about the dreaming. <laughs> no. Oh God, really? No. Okay, we have there's a there's a koala character who is a and meant to be kind of an Aboriginal elder kind yeah. of dude. He doesn't talk. He s sort of speaks in this gibberish language, which isn't great, but everyone understands him. <laughs> okay. Um, but he's really cool because he can blend into the land by like uh, using his magic spells. Neat. He the 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 guru is fucking awesome. He is one of my favorite characters. <laughs> He's a tiny using the term guru. He's a tiny purple koala. It's pretty cool. Oh fuck, that was stupid. That was really stupid. Yep. I didn't even lose a thing for it because it knew how stupid it was. That's great. That's that's fantastic. This game has already figured out how dumb you are. Oh thanks. <laughs> okay, so I like now I can splat as wax everywhere. Oh yeah. It's pretty cool. I always loved these levels. I don't know why I like these levels, because they're not that colourful. They're very drab and you know, oh, they've got a lot of green. They do have a lot of green, but I um. And I they're think actually it's, quite vibrant. They're not that drab. It's kind of this weird thing. Like in real life, I'm kind of well, not terrified of swamps, but you know, swamps have frogs. You're I not a big frogs. fan of the stuff that resides in no, swamps. No, no, so. yes, but like these levels just always fascinated me. I mean, the giant bugs should honestly be much more terrifying looking. Yeah, they're kind of cute. They look uh, like burbs. I know. Although there are two, uh, one or two levels in this, uh, in this hub that can absolutely get fucked. Which like, ones are those? One that involves lighting fires. Uh, that you have to ride around on like this, this uh, thing, this like jet ski thing, and light fire, uh, and you don't have a lot of. Uh, you need to like run over fish to get oil to light said fire. It's kind of stupid. And then there's another one where you have to catch chickens. Oh, this is a fucking random and swamp thing. <laughs> Great. <laughs> DC should DC or Marvel could. Oh my god, listen. What? Is it the bumps? It's the bumps. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, the thing I hate about those is they split in two, and either one can hit you after that, and it's really not great. It's just not not great in any way. Not uh, super fun. Not super fun. Okay, I have six more clues to find. Oh my god, you're doing it all the time now. Yeah, I know. It. It. I don't know whether it's a glitch or intentional, but I'm so okay with it being intentional. Yeah, I know. Um. Oh fuck it. There's a fucking squirrel that looks high. He's not a squirrel. He's actually a rat. He's got like wood chip teeth. I know. Uh. They. They are. Uh, they use. Uh. This like. Magic shit. <coughs> According to Bentley, shrink my head to the size of a pea. That sounds about right. Mm -hmm. right. I mean, for you, that wouldn't be a big change. But... Thank you, pineapple <laughs> head. That's very nice. I have my hair up in a ponytail on the top of my head because it's short. Um, it looks like a pineapple. And it looks like a pineapple. I, I may. Uh, you can put a po photo in of just the pineapple. Sure. <laughs> You can actually put a picture of a pineapple <laughs> next to it. 
Oh, future race, get on that shit, please. <laughs> that will make me very happy. Okay. So what I need to do is do a sneaky snow. I gotta be s hella sneak. So sneak that that no one will ever know I was there. And oh my no. god, they're like... There are a lot of them. Crazy. They're, they're on a path, but that path is... Uh, is very, like, not randomized, but, like, it looks random. Yeah. And I think this should... Oh, yep, they all die. Mojo force field is down, and you can steal the key! Bef but before I go and do that, I'm gonna go empty this vault. The vault Thanks, Bentley. If I did my math right, and, I and he always, always do does his math, math right... right <laughs> then the combination has got to be... Five, eight, eight. Sure. Five, eight, eight. What do I get this time? Something good? Okay. A page. Another page of the Thievius Arcanist. Ah. Ah, oh, this move. This is actually pretty cool. Electromagnetic field created by a rolling raccoon. So the roll move becomes electrified, <laughs> which means you can actually you can pre you can do damage. Sensation. That's cool too. You give him a nice tingling sensation <laughs> in his uh, in <laughs> jodpers. <laughs> <laughs> his That's... yes, his 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 fur jodpers. Yes, hang on. His jod fur. There we go. I don't know. Another thing. I joke. really like how like the uh, he's the ball. I like how electricity looks in this game. He's the ball. He's a ball. He's a tiny he's a ball or raccoon. He's a... <laughs> Ball Ragoon. Yee! Yeah. The Mac Daddy. Ragoon. The Mac Daddy. <laughs> Daddy Mac. Miggity 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 Mac Daddy. I can't do that. Miggity Miggity. I can't do yep. it either. Yep. It's harder than it, it's miggity, miggity, harder than it looks. I think he must speed it up or something. I'm the Miggity Mi Nah, he's just got good uh, diction. Yes. Very good enunciation. Yes. Diction is another word for that same thing. Yeah. One of his eyes just moved. Like, the, just one of his eyes. Just, like, autocorrected. Mm. Blink, 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 blink. Sweet. Alright. Time to go search this hub world for some shit. There's not a lot around here. Mainly just levels. I want to start singing cars. <laughs> uh. Why does she sound like she's from the bayou, I wonder? Yeah, I wonder, did this- Because this would have been better set in the bayou! Yep, probably, but there- well, okay, there are swamps in the bayou, that's- that's very- That is literally like, have you watched Princess and the Frog? Yeah. Which is where I base well, most of my knowledge of the um, bayou. Actually, like, they never say she grew up in Haiti, she- they actually kind of imply she may have grown up in the bayou. And then retreated to Haiti, as, you know, as a safe haven after being a villain or something. But like, you know, a safe Haitian. I'm funny. That was you just died, haha. Ha. It's a golf ball. They they shoot it like it's a golf ball. What's uh? Yeah, I guess we should get this out of the way now. Piranha Lake. You remember? You remember my frustration with the uh, racing mini game? With the fums. Yeah, prepare for that again. <laughs> oh boy. I, I dislike this level thoroughly. This one. I'm uh, just gonna get comfortable. You should. You really should, because um, we might be here a while. Oh. Hopefully, just until the end of the episode, because. Okay. I gotta, I gotta, so, so I gotta roll over these piranhas, yep. get the oil from them, yep. and light a bunch of tiki, uh, the, not tiki, bunch of voodoo lamps. No, no, they were called tiki torches. Okay, cool, yep, um, the only problem is I can only hold five piranhas at a time, and they all run the fuck away from me, which is great, which is so great, and I only have two minutes to do it. You better get running! I'm trying! And <laughs> I'm trying as hard as I fucking can! Mm. I'm proud of you. Thank you. You're working so hard. Look I'm at you. trying. Oh, oh god, don't get caught. Also, controls are just, 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 just not. Janky as just janky to heck. Jank to, to heckle. Heckle, heckle, beckle. Heckle me up. Heckle, heckle me, me up, up inside. inside. 
Mm, heckle me up, neighborinos. <laughs> Hadly doodly diddly doodly. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great response. <laughs> oh my god. We're both kind of tired, if you can tell. Once again, it is like 1.30 in the morning, so you know, the, the yes. shit happens. Uh, we've the, the shit that happens at, at 1.30 in the morning is the best quality we've, shit. But uh, it's you had less. uni, I had just, I've you had know, a full day of uni. I've had life, you know, that, that... I've been out for at least three hours. I've got three left. Okay, you know what? I you complained like about it. this. It's really like oh you've just God. gotten better at it. Yeah, honestly. I guess. It's still Look not the that. it's still not the chicken level. At least I don't have to do the chicken level yet, or probably not even in this video. Oh, that's that's like relief. Oh, I swear to Christ, the chicken level. It'll just you'll you'll understand when we get to it. <laughs> you have to catch chickens to make gum to help a ghost make gumbo. That sounds amazing. It sounds amazing. It makes me want to hurt things. <laughs> uh Oh well, god. That's good cuz then you could hurt the chickens. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It would be it would be a lot easier. Who really lit those candles? I don't know. It'd be a lot easier if there weren't uh fucking uh 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 fucking uh roosters that come out with bombs that try to kill Can I you. Get a, a fucking um, <laughs> we really don't have much time left, but I want to do- Actually, you know what? You slide on that vine. If this is the- Yep, this is the level I think it is. We're gonna do this level, and then, uh, we'll probably call it quits for the episode. Yeah. Because this is not a long level, and it's also one of my favorites, because it terrified me as a child. That's what it's like. Yeah. Miss Ruby must really be trying to keep something out. Or maybe she's trying to keep something in. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yep. Spoopy. Is is kind of spoopy, actually. It's be spoop. This level is very much the spoop level. I like spoopy things. Though. I like spoopy things, too. I like stuff that, like, makes me think that I'm not alone in my house. I enjoy uh, that. This, this, uh, actually, this actually made me think I'm not alone in any swamp. <laughs> I always know I'm not alone in any swamp. I'm terrified of bugs. I know. I just, uh, this is just. I don't do well with insects. I've ha I have various horror stories I could tell about the insect. Yeah. Uh, the, the insect encounters menace. I've had. The insect menace. The encounters that I've had with relatively harmless seeming insects. Yeah, I've I've. Uh, I don't mean not like. I've we live in Australia. I have a healthy respect and fear of insects i have uh the whole i don't fuck with them they don't fuck with me uh mentality but i, I know like that that's the kind of mentality you have when you grew up having like fly screens in your house did you not have fly screens i do not currently have any fly screens in my house how and have it drives you lived me that's <laughs> show is bad to say it's driving me slowly insane uh, it's, it's just the way the blinds are on my window i can't have them yeah Fair. But, uh, yeah, if I move to a place that doesn't have first, them, I'm getting them installed. First thing we're doing is getting fly screens if we ever because move Because I really place. like sleeping with my windows open, but I can't do it because last time I did that, I had a spider take up residence inside my window. Uh, yeah, that was not... That was a fun it was, night. It was a cross spider, so if anyone knows what those are, they're the really big, long, gross-looking ones with the legs that, like, stick together. They're an outside uh, spider. Uh, and so, like, they're not super big spider wise but, but they have very long spindly legs yep so they're absolutely terrifying Ugh. oh my god it got drunk on your yeah on your it blood. loves my blood yeah there's something blah, blah, blah. Uh, you, we missed it just then but there is something moving underneath the reeds like and that's that, pretty terrifying and i mean after watching people play like what was it bloodborne and Which? the giant swamp crabs oh those dark were souls fuck it. Dark oh souls yeah dark bloodborne. souls 3 that was uh that was, uh, some Game Drum shit. Um... Well, right. it wasn't just Game, game Drums, we are just referencing a game. Well, yeah, but, but, like, which other ones have you watched with I think this? I play, I watched, uh, Markiplier play it. Did Markiplier de play Dark Souls 3? Maybe I'm thinking of someone else. I don't know. I know we watched Game... I, I know we watched the Game Drums play it, and... Anyway, there was... are giant crabs in the swamps, and those are pretty terrifying. Okay. Here we go. You ready for this? This is where this... Go <laughs> It's a giant evil. Oh, not actually. Not it's evil. It's a giant snoot boop. It's a snake. It's a long dog. 
Sarah loves snake. Oh it's my god! It's a danger god. noodle. Oh god, I gotta die. It's a large danger noodle. It's, it's an bird. extra large. I died. I had to die. I had to do it. I missed He's a thing. He goes meow meow. Sarah likes snakes. I, I like snakes. I, I also I also like snakes, but this thing is kind of terrible. I like I like I like I like not venomous snakes. This thing I like is non -venomous. huge and looks toxic as shit. I'm particularly enamored by ball pythons because they're a non-aggressive snake. Yeah, they look very cute. The only danger with them is well, one, I can't have one because it's an exotic species and I can't get an exotic species license. Yeah. Because I'm Australian and they're an American native. Um. Okay, thank you for letting me know but, that. Um, That's great. <laughs> thank you, controller. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but uh, I was. Uh, they're very cute, but they're also kind of difficult to hold because they're not not an aggressive snake. They're very hard to get them to eat. Yeah. Cause, cause they're not. We did it. <laughs> yeah, they they have Ugh. trouble like striking at food and stuff like that. Yeah, that thing's creepy. Just like the way it moves is off-putting. Did I get all of them? I did. Shit, that's awesome. Ugh, I, I wasn't like even I'm, paying I'm so attention. I have such a different way of seeing animals now. Yeah. The main reason I'm freaked out by bugs, and this is my logic with this, is that they're not predictable, so they don't have... <laughs> Did you see that? Try 444. Four, four. No, he's like, he had to overcome personal demons to figure it out. 444? Four, four, four. Like 666? Six, six, six. <laughs> that's, that's a dumb joke, but I love it. Okay. So lame. I know, but it's cute. Okay, we did it. We found a... A more modern entry. Bruce O'Koop's computer hacking technique. Of course. Using the data on this page, I should be able to tap the duty roster at each hideout and project guard... That's pretty cool. You can actually look up, like, um, each, um... <laughs> duty roster. Oh, my God. <laughs> Like, if you look through the Binoculum now at, Americans, uh, your, language is, your language is stupid. Uh, well, it's the English language. No, they butchered it. Yeah. So, like, now if we go into, uh, any, uh, well, in any level, if we look through the Binoculum, it'll come up with a little, uh, little bit little of- doot -doot. A little thing about, um, about the enemies we look at. Like, I- I can- I can probably show it off. Um, hang on. Really what, a... Yeah, um... Is there oh, a... No, I'm not, I, I love it that, you, that giant snake thing came out and I was like, Ah, it's a giant long dog! <laughs> Mojo Dupree, Rodentia Vudium, enjoys... Vudium. Vudium, enjoys golf. <laughs> I love that. Ah, uh, that's... Yeah. Okay. That's all the time we have for this episode of the Super Show. Thanks for sticking around with us. We love um, you. We do. We, we love, love you so much. We love you very you much. You guys are awesome. You guys are great. Uh, next time when we do this, we'll probably go explore a bit more of uh, Ms. Ruby's cavalcade of voodoo creepiness. And uh, yeah. I may have to suffer through the chicken level. And that's going to be fun. Look at him. He's just so ready. And then he's like, nah. And then he's like out of his, 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 his I know. side of his hands. He's just chilling. Yeah. Anyway, we love you guys. Like, um, is uh, anyone going to come we, get me? We love you guys so much. Uh, bye bye. See you in the next episode. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye.